God is always of order. That's why he's called Father. Satan throws you the curveballs. That's usually how it works. Right now, and it's funny because Satan will use seemingly good things to throw you off course. Right now, you're a father. Order and orderliness and boundaries and consistency is the most important thing for you in your life right now. You get to be the pattern. You get to be the order in yourself so that it transpires in your home. If you start going with the flow or how I would say going sideways all of a sudden, you're going to introduce chaos into your life. And I'm already, I'm already familiar with you, your relationship with your wife and the kid and stuff like that. You already are kind of a chaotic dude. You already kind of have a little chaos going on in your life. And that's why I told you, stick with this job. Stop jumping around. It's crazy how when we think, I've done this. I struggle with this too. Just because something seems good. Right? Like going to Catholic college and studying theology is not a bad thing. That's what tricks us more than anything. Because if you were like, oh, Elliot, there's this girl and I, you know, I really think that I should leave my wife and go be with her, then I, it, we, we could both very easily say, whoa, dude, I could point out very easily, very quickly, that's a bad idea. But because it's about God, because it's about Catholicism and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to improve myself and I want to do it for the world, then, we, then the ego puts its guard down a little bit <laughs> and Satan loves doing this because he knows, oh, you're going to put your guard down. <laughs> put your guard down because it's a good thing. It's a nice thing, right? It's like back in the day, I used to hear about like uh, these home invasions and it's, they might be coming again as crime increases, home invasions where like a distressed woman or like a child will come to the door and they'll knock on your door. Oh, it's just a child. And you look at the window. It's like, oh, it's just a child. Open up the door. And then you open up the door because look, are you doing something good? It's just a child. And you'll say, oh, how you doing, child? Or you say to the woman, oh, how you doing, woman? Feeling non-threatened. And then out from the two sides, the guys bust in with the guns and, and invade the home. That's what Satan's doing to you right now. Oh, it's Catholic college and theology. Come on in. Boom, boom. And there's going to be a whole bunch of chaos in your house. Guns going off. And all kinds of bad stuff. You don't want to do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. <laughs> right? Instead, I know you... I, hold on. There was a paper around here the other day I wanted to read from for you guys. But I, I, I'm not going to do it. You do the best thing for the fight, right? You say, I, want it, I feel called to enter the fight and dive in deep. You do the best fighting and diving in deep by fulfilling fully your vocation as a father. There's no better way. There's no better way to bring the fight to the world then make a lot of babies. All that money and all that time that you're going to go to Catholic college, make more babies and then homeschool them with your wife. Raise strong Catholic children that will raise strong Catholic families that will bring strength, long-term, long-term sustainable strength to the society with good families. That's... That's far more important than studying theology so that you can help others. Make your family great. I struggle too because I'm a revert as well. So you know what happens when guys like us, most people, right? When they're saved by Christ, you know, born again, all this. They start getting all giddy about Jesus and they forget about their feet on the ground. And so they can very easily let go of all kinds of stuff in their life, thinking that they're doing God's work, but really they're just being carried away and they're being silly. And so the same thing happens to me, but I've got wisdom enough to, to stop when I see myself doing it. <laughs> so this word, God speaks to me in a weird way. One of the ways God speaks to me is he implants a word in my head and just makes me repeat it over and over and over again. Back when I seemingly changed, you know, Elliot Hulse seems like he's always changing. 
Well, back in like 2018, when I started really going hard in this masculine direction, you know, making men strong again, he kept just putting the word father into my head, father, father. And so because I was still, I still didn't understand how God spoke to me. Now I'm starting to figure it out. And he speaks in different ways. I thought that that meant I needed to, maybe I should have more children, right? Father, father, this word just keeps coming to my head, father. And then I'm thinking, oh, maybe I need to repair my relationship with my father, which I did. And it just, and then I started thinking about how I'm supposed to go out into the world and teach fathers, right? Like help fathers be good fathers. And I just kept ruminating on this, just wrestling with it until I realized where am, where am I looking? Why am I looking to go help fathers and uh, do something about fathers out there? God is telling me, you're a father, Elliot, right? You're a father. Be a father. Father your children. But a guy with a big ego like me that has been spending much of his life out there in the world helping people, I'm quickly thinking, how can I go be a father out there? And then I'm like, wait a second. No, God's telling me, spend more time at home with my children, be a better father. Not that I was a bad father, but really be the father that you're called to be, Elliot. That's what God was telling me. It took me a little while to figure it out because I, I, was, I was looking that way instead of looking this way. Another word that has been, he's, he's just, for the past year or so, he's, he's just kind of like working into me, is catechesis. Catechesis means religious instruction. But I'm smarter this time. I start thinking, I need to create, and I've sp spoken to you guys about this before, I need to create a new YouTube channel called Catechesis, and I need to do catechesis with you guys, and I need to create co Catholic content. But I, I slow roll these days. I, I don't take myself seriously when I think that stuff. I just sit with it. I'm like, okay, let me see what God is, what's actually unfolding. I'm catechizing my children. We started catechesis with a catechist. Today we're reading from the catechism of the Catholic faith. All God was telling me is, you're going to be catechizing your children. Right? It's all about father and children and family for me. Right? It's taken me some, some time to figure this out because I was a beta male too. I'm looking everywhere else except right here. For you, it's the same thing. Don't pursue a degree in Catholic theology. You're a father. You have a job. You have a wife. You have children. If education is emerging in you, slow down and think about it practically. God is probably telling you to read more books, watch more YouTube videos and catechize yourself. Start teaching your wife, bringing up your child in the faith. You see what I'm saying? It's nine times out of 10, the, the thing that God is calling us to is not grandiose. That's our ego. Grandiose. Whoa, something big, something extraordinary, something way off of the path that I'm on right now. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. When God is calling you, he's basically saying, look at where you are standing right now. In, in, in the... In the Psalms, King David says, he is a light unto my feet. He's talking, he's praising God. And he's saying, the God, God is a, he's a light unto my feet. Think about, just think about the significance of that. A light unto my feet. He didn't say he's a light unto my path. He didn't say he's a light unto my future. He didn't say he's a light unto my vision and my mission and the whole world. He said, he's a light unto my feet. That means he's showing you right where you are standing, right where you are, are, where you are at. That's where you need to focus your attention. Reign in the ADHD, the ADD. I remember speaking to you the other day. I, I picked that up because I'm a little bit like you. I got, a little, I got a touch of ADD. That's what they told me when I was a kid. They gave me medication. And you seem to have a little touch of it too. But you can't let that rule you. Rain it in, rain it in, come home and take care of what's in front of you, dude. 
done. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war as well as how it's affecting your health your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, How Millions of Men Are Fighting Back and Winning the War Against Masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit MakeMenStrongAgain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world, but it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.